Hey guys, I'm Suprabha. If you check out the playlist named Gate 2018 Questions, you'll see that we are uploading questions streamwise and chapterwise. In this video, we'll see the examples based upon linear algebra that were asked for EC in the year 2018. Let us start with the first example. It says, consider matrix A is equal to the elements are K, 2K, K square minus K, K square and vector X is equal to x1, x2. Number of distinct real value of k for which given equation a into x is equal to 0 has infinitely many solutions is. Now what they have given is they have given a matrix a that is 2 by 2 matrix and they have given equation ax equal to 0 that has infinitely many solutions. We know infinitely many solutions are possible when value of determinant is equal to 0. So what we will do is, we will simply find the determinant of given matrix and from that we will get the value of unknown k. Let us find out the determinant. Determinant is 0. So this will be k cube minus 2k cube plus 2k square is equal to 0. This is minus 2k cube plus 2k square is equal to 0. Let us take this is minus k cube sorry. Let us take k square common. We will get 2 minus k equal to 0. So value of k will be k square is equal to 0. 2 minus k is equal to 0. So, value of k will be 0 and 2. So, our answer becomes 2. There are two distinct values of k. Second example, let m be a real 4 into 4 matrix. Consider the following statements. There are three statements that they have given. The first statement says, m has four linearly independent eigenvectors. Second statement says M has four distinct eigenvalues and statement 3 S3 says M is non-similar invertible and the options given to us are S1 implies S2, S, second option is S2 implies S1, third option is S1 implies S3 and S3 implies S2. Now before we proceed, leave these two statements and focus on the third statement M is non-singular. M is non-singular means determinant of that matrix is not equal to 0. If you see the statement S3 has no relation with S1 and S2. So this statement is invalid. That means the option C and D will be invalid. Let us now focus on S1 and S2. Before we proceed, I will simply write one sentence. For N into N matrix, There will be n eigenvalues. Out of these n values, if m are distinct values, then it implies that there will be M linearly independent eigenvectors. There will be at least, okay, I'll add the word at least, at least M linearly independent eigenvectors or there will be more than M. So if you find this statement confusing, this is a very important statement actually. We'll understand this statement through an example. As you can see, the M is 4 by 4 matrix. So there will be four eigenvalues. Let my eigenvalues be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. As there are four eigenvalues, there will be four there will be four linearly independent eigenvectors. Okay. These are four distinct eigenvalues. The word distinct means the eigenvalues are not repeated. This is the first case. If there is second case, 
that says it has four eigen values but these are not distinct uh, sorry the two there are two distinct eigen values but the one is repeated thrice so as you can see there are only two distinct eigen values so there will be two or more linearly independent eigen vectors okay two or more so that means there can be four as well now let us compare these two uh, cases with the given statements s1 says m has four linearly independent eigen vectors we have four linearly independent eigen vectors s2 says m has four distinct eigen values for four eigen vectors we are not only getting the distinct values we are getting repeated as well so s1 implies s2 is wrong but for four distinct eigen values for four distinct eigen values we are getting four linearly independent eigen vectors so the option b that says s2 implies s1 is correct still if you have any doubts or based on this example let us know in the comment box thank you thank you for your support till now we we'll need it more so please like my video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you